shopping at Pattaya Floating Market. Hi Jennifer, do you remember we were discussing our upcoming trip to Thailand? Hi Michael, of course, I do. I'm really excited about it. What's on your mind? I've been reading about the Pattaya Floating Market. It seems like a must-visit place. Oh, that sounds interesting. What exactly is a floating market? A floating market is a type of traditional market in Thailand. It's essentially a market on water where goods are sold from boats. That sounds fun. What can we expect to find at the Pattaya floating market? From what I've read, we can find a variety of things. It's not just a market, but also a cultural center. There are stalls selling food, fruits, vegetables, spices, and local handicrafts. Plus, there are also traditional Thai houses and cultural performances. I love the idea of buying fresh fruits and vegetables from a boat. And I'm always keen to try local cuisines. Yes, it would be a unique experience. And, we can try the famous Thai street food, like Pad Thai, right from the boats. That sounds delicious. How about clothes or souvenirs? Yes, there are many stalls selling traditional Thai clothes, handmade jewelry, and other local handicrafts. It's a great place to buy souvenirs. That's good to hear. I like collecting unique items from the places I visit. And what about the cultural performances? They have traditional Thai dances and even martial arts performances. We can also take a boat tour to explore the market. That's fascinating. It seems like there's a lot to do and see. How do we get there? It's located in Pattaya City, so we can take a taxi or a bus. Also, it's better to go in the morning when the market is most active. Great! I can't wait to visit the Pattaya floating market. It seems like a wonderful place to experience Thai culture. I agree, Jennifer. This will definitely be a highlight of our trip to Thailand. Thanks for the information, Michael. I'm even more excited about our trip now. You're welcome, Jennifer. It's going to be an adventure. I'm looking forward to it as well. At the hair salon. Hi Jennifer, I've been thinking about going to the hair salon for a haircut. Do you have any recommendations? Hello Michael. Sure, I can help you with that. There's a nice hair salon called Style Studio nearby. I've been there a few times, and they do a great job. Thanks, Jennifer. How do I make an appointment at a hair salon? You can either call them or visit their website to book an appointment. Just let them know your preferred date and time, and they'll schedule it for you. That sounds easy. What should I say when I arrive at the hair salon? When you enter the salon, you can greet the staff by saying, Hello, I have an appointment for a haircut at 3 p.m. My name is Michael. Great. How do I explain what kind of haircut I want? You can either show them a picture of the hairstyle you want or describe it to them. For example, you could say, I'd like a short haircut with layers or I'd like to trim my hair and keep the length. What if I'm not sure what kind of haircut would look good on me? You can ask the hairdresser for their advice. Say something like, I'm not sure what would look best on me. What do you recommend? That's helpful. What about hair treatments or other services? Most hair salons offer a variety of services, such as hair coloring, perms, or deep conditioning treatments. You can ask the hairdresser, what other services do you offer, and they'll explain the options. Thanks, Jennifer. How much should I expect to pay for a haircut? The price can vary depending on the salon and the services you choose. Usually, a basic haircut can cost between $20 and $50. You can check their website or ask them on the phone for the prices. And what about tipping the hairdresser? Is that common? Yes, it's common to tip the hairdresser. 
a tip of 15 to 20 percent of the total cost is considered appropriate. I appreciate your help, Jennifer. I'll make an appointment soon. You're welcome, Michael. I'm sure you'll have a great experience. Let me know how it goes. I will, thank you. Have a nice day. You too, Michael. Take care. The importance of love and respect in a long-lasting and happy relationship. Hi Jennifer, I've been thinking about long-lasting and happy relationships. Do you think love or respect is more important for a successful relationship or marriage? Hello Michael, that's an interesting question. I believe both love and respect are essential in a happy and long-lasting relationship. They are interconnected and contribute to a strong bond between partners. I agree, Jennifer. Love and respect should both be present. But what would you say are the main differences between love and respect? Well, love is a deep emotional connection and affection for your partner. It's the feeling of warmth, care, and attachment that makes you want to be with them. On the other hand, respect is about valuing and honoring your partner's thoughts, feelings, and opinions. It involves treating them with dignity and understanding their needs and boundaries. That's a great explanation. Can you give me some examples of how love and respect might be shown in a relationship? Sure, Michael. Love can be shown through actions like hugging, kissing, holding hands, or saying I love you. It's also important to support your partner, listen to them, and spend quality time together. Respect can be shown by actively listening to your partner, considering their opinions, and not belittling or criticizing them. Thank you, Jennifer. That makes a lot of sense. How do you think we can ensure both love and respect are present in our relationships? To maintain love, it's essential to communicate openly and honestly, share experiences, and express appreciation for each other. For respect, it's important to be empathetic, show kindness, and be willing to compromise when necessary. I see. So, love and respect are like two sides of the same coin, and we need both to maintain a long-lasting and happy relationship, right? Exactly, Michael. Love and respect complement each other, and together, they create a solid foundation for a successful relationship. If one is missing, it can lead to problems and dissatisfaction. Thank you, Jennifer, for sharing your insights. I've learned a lot from this conversation, and I will make sure to prioritize both love and respect in my relationships. You're welcome, Michael. I'm glad I could help. Remember, relationships take time and effort, but with love, respect, and understanding, they can grow stronger and more fulfilling. Thanks, Jennifer. I'll keep that in mind. Have a wonderful day. You too, Michael. Take care.